Hello community, hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to learn data binding, string interpolation, and property interpolation, and the interpolation. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed this channel, please subscribe, like, and share the video. So uh, here are the topics which we are going to see in this video which is data binding, interpolation, property binding and property binding versus string collation. Okay. So what is the data binding is data binding in Angular is a fundamental concept that allows you to synchronize data between the component and the UI of, ang of your Angular application. Angular offers various types of data binding including one-way binding and two-way binding to help uh, manage the flow of data between the component and template. So the two types of data binding uh, we are using in the Angular one is the one-way binding and another one is the two-way binding. Okay. So what we are consider in one way binding, in one way binding we are consider interpolation, property binding and the event binding and in the two way binding we are consider as a ng model and the attribute binding. So let's see the example of one way binding and the two way binding. Okay. Uh, here I am using my previous application over uh, for the example. Let's run this application by using command ng sow okay so you can see our application is running on http localhost 4200 okay so you can change the port also that we will see in the next video okay so let's run this application on the browser localhost 4200 you can see our application is running here so let's check the example of uh, interpolation which is considered as a one way binding. Okay, so interpolation is a simply way to display component data in the view. You can use double curly braces to bind a component property to an element. Okay, for example, so here I am using uh, as a title. Okay, and giving uh, some string name which is the demo application i want to render this title on the browser how can i render by using the interpolation what we have to do over here over here we have to do in the double curly braces we have to put this variable over here and the closing with the double curly braces okay so it is called the one way binding by using the interpolation so you can check in the browser the demo application is running over here. So this is a example of the interpolation. Okay. Next one is the property binding. Okay. Property binding allows you to bind a component property to an HTML elements property or attribute. For binding a property we have to use the square bracket. Okay. So let's see the example of property binding. Okay. Uh, for property binding, here I am creating one variable which is image URL. Okay, equals to this. Okay, so image URL variable we are using in the property. So I am taking here image tag uh, which is having SRC property and putting SRC and putting that image variable over here. Okay, image URL. So this is called the property binding for that we are using the square bracket over here you can see the image is render over in the browser okay so this is the property binding example and there are a other property also we can bind like this okay but just we have to concentrate with for that we have to use the square bracket okay so next we are going to understand which is the event binding okay event binding lets you bind an html event to method in your component class you can use a circle bracket to bind the event suppose we want some event binding like that uh, for example we we have one button like 
button okay so on the click of we have to change something on the browser right so we can uh, we can use the click event over here so every event you have to use like this in the circle bracket we have to give the event name okay in the javascript we are using like on click on submit like that but in the angular we have we have to use like click submit change blur like this in the circle bracket so uh, on the click on the click we have to give one function name on click title change okay so in that we are giving this title as a our first application is running okay so how we can uh, create this function in component or ts file here you have to create a function like this function name with the curly braces and uh, we are passing one parameter over here which is the string so here we have to take one parameter which is name having the change title okay so how we can give this so here we have to give the type of that parameter here we are giving the any type okay by giving the any type it is considered the all type of variable if it is string integer or any enum or anything okay so how we can change this title over here we have to access this variable like this dot title equals to change title okay so if we click on the button that chat title will be changed so here we are giving the name of button is click me okay so i am clicking button over here you can see our title is change okay so this is the event binding we can use so this three are the one way binding now we are see the two way binding okay how we can create the two way binding okay so let's check the two way binding also here we are commenting this code okay and next so in the two way binding we can use uh, ng model or another one is the attribute binding okay so uh, two way binding is a combination of property binding and event binding it allows you to bind a component property to an input element and listen for change to the property so for that angular provides uh, ng model or another one is the form module okay so for the two way binding so let's check let's uh, check the example of two way binding so here i am taking input type equals to text and for two way binding we are using the ng model okay ng model and here we are giving the name of the ng model is the user name so that username we have to define is a variable in our component file so here i am putting this username as a variable variable in component with the any type okay so you can see here we are getting the error can't bind ng model since it is a non property of input why we are getting this error for using ng model in our code we have to import form module in our app dot module file okay which is our main module of application so let's import the form module in app dot module file so in the imports here so form module is the default uh, module which is providing by the angular you will get this module from the at the rate angular slash forward slash form library okay so now uh, let's check our uh, our ng model is working fine okay so we want to check if it is uh, like rendering in browser or not what we have to do over here we have to do over here uh, in the h2 h2 you can print that model over here is a username okay so let's check let's check krishna weblands you can see whatever you are typing in the text box this is printing in the below okay this is called the two way binding click me me okay this is called the two way binding okay so this is the example of ng model and next we are going to see which is the attribute binding so attribute binding 
is uh, used to set uh, attribute dynamically on HTML element. You can use attribute dot attribute name syntax to bind the attribute to a component property. So let's see how we can use the component uh, attribute binding in our example. Okay. So let's taking the example here. We are taking example as a input uh, attribute dot disable. Okay, and equals to is disabled. So this is we are giving a flag for the attribute. Let's declare into the component like is disable type equals to boolean and in initially it is true. Okay, okay. So, if it is true, then you cannot type anything in the text box because the disable flag is true. If you taking like a false, then also you can see, you can see the flag is false, then you can, you can write over here, okay. So, in the HTML, you can also using disable property uh, like this for that you don't need to write attribute dot disabled, okay. So, uh, data binding is the core component in Angular and plays a crucial role in creating dynamics and responsive user interface. It allows you to keep your component data in sync with the view and making it easy to build interactive web application. Okay. So, let's see the difference between string interpolation and the property interpolation. Okay. So, string interpolation use double curly braces in your HTML template to display the value of component property within the HTML. It allows you to insert a value of component string directly into the template. It is a primary use for display property value within the template like rendering a dynamic text or displaying a variable values okay so in the next in this video we see the example of a string interpolation here we are using the title okay in the double curly braces and this is the example of the string interpolation and next the property binding property bindings allows you html element property to the value of a component property it use a square brackets to bind the property of html element to a component property okay it is used when you want to bind a property of html element to a dynamic value from a from your component okay so you can see this is the property binding it is the example of property binding here are uh, some key points which we have to consider in string interpolation and the property interpolation so the key points is use string interpolation when you want to display a dynamic text or value directly within the html content and next one is use property binding when you want to bind html elements property to a component property for dynamic updates such as a value attribute input attribute and the event handler okay and property binding is a more versatile and allows you to bind to a various element property while string interpolation is a limited to interpolation value into the content okay the choice between them depends on the specific use case and this and the desired behavior in your angular application okay so by using the string interpolation you can also manipulate the math operation okay so let's see the example so here i am using 2 plus 2 you can see in the browser it is rendered a 4 okay like this way you can also use the string interpolation and for the property binding you can use you can use the attribute in the square bracket these are the difference between the string interpolation and the property interpolation okay if you have any doubt please comment in the comment section and email on our email id thanks for watching this video